Why did you want to call the book um, Cultural U-Turns? I wanted the title of Cultural U-Turns for the new book and for the training course because I'm aware that so many times in society the we make our mind up about something and then we change it. We, we set our laws and, and we set practices and then 10 or 20 years later or 50 years later we apologise to people. And examples of cultural U-turns can be things like slavery, apartheid in Africa, homosexuality. Um, we had a cultural U-turn over the use of thalidomide for morning sickness. There are examples of cultural U-turns where in the last century or two in Australia and in North America and Canada, we, whoever we are, we decided that the indigenous children would be better off schooled in Western Christian ways. And so we removed them from their parents. We're now having truth and reconciliation to apologise for those kind of practices. But at the time we thought it was normal. The reason I'm interested in cultural U-turns is that there is a domination of beliefs about mental health and mental illness. And we are just starting to acknowledge that our beliefs around unusual experiences are Western culture-bound beliefs. And we're questioning the disease of the brain model of unusual experience and the chemical imbalance. And the we're now even... Today, we're questioning the effectiveness of medication for things like depression. So we change our minds, and I'm hoping that there's a cultural U-turn with regard to mental health, and we'll have different ways of understanding and different treatment strategies.